<laughs> Doors to the Mind It's pretty simple, actually. You only need a friend, and maybe a pillow if you want, but the results can be a little surprising. And there are a few warning signs to heed when exploring the doors of your, well, mind. So, here we go. Step one, dim the lights and light a few candles. The name of the game is to put you in a nice meditative state. You need to be relaxed and be able to have a free mind. This is most important for this to work. So put on some comfy clothes and relax. The only useful door to your mind is an open one. Step two, lay your head in your partner's lap. Pillows are always nice. Make sure your head is facing up. Your friend will need to rub both of your temples in slow, circular motions, like a massage. It needs to be relaxing. That is key. Make sure they keep a pretty steady tempo. Much ado about trancing and meditation. 3. This is where your friend will have to guide you, so to speak. Let your mind and imagination do all the work. This entire time your eyes will be closed, and you will be relaying descriptive information to your partner about your surroundings and such. Here's a suggestion. Have a third person recording. Also, never second guess what comes to mind. Simply answer your partner's questions without hesitation as they come to you. Just let it happen. Step 4. Here is what your partner should start you with. You are at one end of a very long corridor. There are numerous doors on both sides of this corridor, spanning the entire length. I want you to explore these doors and the rooms behind them. Describe to me what you can see, hear, touch, and feel with great detail. And from here, the exploration is up to your mind. Now here's a few important things you need to remember. Always pay attention to the door first. This will give you a clue as to what waits for you inside. Note door handles, any imperfections, unusual colors, shape, size, everything. Also, the temperature of the door handle may or may not be important. 2. If you go into a room full of clocks, leave immediately or at least try to. I don't know what the reasoning behind this is. All I know is that it's a big deal. You could stay if you wish, but don't say I didn't warn you. You probably shouldn't touch any of the clocks either. 3. Not all things in your mind are benevolent towards you. I'm pretty sure you know that by now, but I thought I'd remind you. It's good to ask yourself questions. Sometimes these manifested characters can be quite revealing, but other times they can just bring you down. 4. Follow your gut instinct about certain doors. Sometimes curiosity really does kill the cat. Number 5. Check what's on your person. Describe what you're wearing. Check your pockets. You might have keys, trinkets, anything. You never know. 
They might be useful to your exploration, or, at the very least, symbolic. Happy exploring, and please, be careful.